my friends. Happy, happy Saturday. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day here, which is perfect because today, if you remember from my video yesterday, is a work in the yard day. So it is about 20 minutes to seven. I just got to the grocery store. I'm gonna go in, do some grocery shopping. I'm also heading to Trader Joe's to pick up a few things. I'll be home to show you my grocery haul and my meal plan for the week. I cannot wait to share with you guys what is on my meal plan. I am super excited. I'm also doing a, another little video for Mother's Day with a really, really good treat that is WW friendly that you can share with your family on this next Sunday, which is crazy. That is Mother's Day. So if you wanna see what I picked up for the week as well as what I have in store for my Mother's Day, bake with me and my meal plan for the week, all you have to do is stay tuned. So here is my huge grocery haul for this week. Of course, this will last a little longer than one week, but this is everything I picked up at both Fred Meyer and Trader Joe's. So let's get started on this week's grocery haul and then I'll show you what my meal plan is. So first I picked up some fresh flowers from Trader Joe's. Best price for flowers, $3.99. I'm gonna pop these in a vase and put these on my kitchen island. Hi Diesel, hi buddy. He's in here with mom doing the grocery haul with you guys. And then of course at Trader Joe's, I always, always pick up their light shredded mozzarella. This cheese freezes beautifully. So if you wanna stock up like I do, I've grabbed three bags. You can just pop these in the freezer and literally it's, it's the best cheese ever for melting, for taste, for texture. And again, it freezes absolutely beautifully. I also picked up some Parmesan cheese. This is for a couple of upcoming recipes. It is least expensive to purchase it in the bag versus the little tubs. And then at Trader Joe's, I also grabbed a pack of the light Mexican blend. I really like this light shredded cheese. I think it's better than a lot of the store brands. So inexpensive, $3.49, I believe, for this large bag, 12 ounces. So that's actually a lot of cheese. And then I picked up these cheese at Snap. I've really, really been liking these. This is the Jalapeno Jack. These are so good. You can see that I munched on them a little bit. But look, they're so good. This flavor is good. I do like the creamy ranch or creamy something better. But this flavor is pretty good as well. Two dozen eggs. These are normally $5 per dozen on sale for $2.49. Really, really good quality egg. I picked up a four pack of taco seasoning. I just used the last package in our taco pasta in the Instant Pot series. So I grabbed another four pack. Great price, $1.60 for four packets of taco seasoning. This is a new thing I found at Trader Joe's. This is the banana date nut bread crisps. So those of you that have been following my channel for a while know that over Christmas, I was loving the ginger crisps. So these are new. I decided to grab these and give them a try. I love bananas, dates. I'm guessing this is going to be reminiscent of banana bread. And I want to say this package was $3.99. So for some canned goods, I grabbed some Hunt's tomato sauce. This is for an upcoming recipe. I also grabbed some of this Hormel 98% fat-free turkey with beans. I thought with the weather getting nicer, chili dogs would be really good or chili burgers and this chili is so low points i never thought you could have canned chili for low points so i was excited when i found that i also grabbed two big cans of crushed pineapple this is for two upcoming recipes and then to stock my pantry i went ahead and grabbed some of the reduced sodium bushes beans these were on sale for a dollar a can and then i also grabbed a bushes black beans as well Picked up some more Crystal Light water flavoring. I really like this peach mango green tea. So good. I do limit myself to one pack per day because they do have 10 calories. But I do really like this flavor. <clears throat> never heard of this. Never seen it before. But this is white balsamic. So I was excited to find this. I've literally never heard of white balsamic. But I had a recipe that called for it. So I went ahead and grabbed a bottle of that. Of course, while I was at Trader Joe's, I restocked my olive oil. I love the Trader Joe's brand of olive oil. It is the best. So inexpensive. I want to say this bottle, 
which is 16.9 ounces, was only $5.99. I also picked up another container of Italian seasoning. I was about out and I had a great coupon for the Simple Truth Organic brand. At Trader Joe's, I grabbed some fat-free feta. I do need this for a recipe. This fat-free cheese from Trader Joe's, this feta, is zero smart points. Can't beat that for cheese. I also grabbed four of the Too Good yogurt. I got them all in vanilla. I'm going to try these with my Smart Cake Parfaits this next week. These only have two grams of sugar and only three carbs. So if you are watching your carbs, this is a very, very low carb yogurt. So I did go ahead and pick up four of those. Of course, I grabbed another can of my fat free Ready Whip. I still have about a half a can, but I cannot run out of my Ready Whip. I also picked up some more of the fat-free half and half. I really like the Kroger brand. It is really thick and creamy and delicious and I needed to have this on hand for a recipe. I also grabbed another big container of the Fa A Total 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. This is also for an upcoming recipe. Picked up a thin crust Pillsbury pizza crust. Again, I am making deep dish sloppy joe casserole, cannot wait. And you do need the a pizza crust for that recipe. I also grabbed some more packets of marinade only because I was out and I really like to have these to add some flavor to chicken and beef. So I grabbed tomato, garlic, and basil. This one sounds really good, brown sugar bourbon. And lastly, I grabbed my favorite, which is the mesquite. One dollar a pack, you can't beat that. I also grabbed another box of my Simple Truth Natural Chicken Breast. You know that I really have been enjoying the organic chicken. I think it's a lot better quality and really it's not that much more expensive, maybe a dollar or two per package. So definitely worth it in my opinion. I also picked up some cheese ravioli. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. Cannot wait. Who doesn't love cheese ravioli? Shredded hash browns. These are not only for breakfast, but of course for some recipes coming up this next week. And I really do like the Orita brand. I think for the little bit of price difference, I think the quality and flavor is a lot better on the name brand hash browns. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know if you notice a difference in some name brand versus store brand products. At Trader Joe's, I also, as usually, as usual, grabbed two pounds of the 96.4 Extra Lean Ground Beef. I love this hamburger. It is the best price at Trader Joe's. So I picked up two pounds. And then, of course, my very favorite center cut bacon, which is the Private Selection brand. This, you can have two slices of this bacon for only one smart point. So that is amazing. So I picked up a package of that. And then my husband wanted ham sandwiches for lunch this week. So I grabbed this big, huge pack of ham. And this is also WW friendly. So if we don't use it all for his lunches, I can use it for roll-ups and things like that. I picked up a big bag of lemons, not only for recipes, but also for my water. I also grabbed a big package of shrimp. This looks so good. So this is succulent butterfly lobster taste and texture shrimps. This is wild caught Argentine red shrimp. I thought, yum, that sounds great. And I am making a shrimp recipe this next week. So I grabbed this fancier brand of shrimp. Veggies. I grabbed frozen corn from Trader Joe's. I also grabbed a bag of the soy katash. I love this blend. So it has the lima beans, soybeans, carrots, I believe, and corn. I don't know if it says on here. Hang on, guys. Sorry, I'm not sure. There we go. So it has sweet corn, sh shelled edamame, and peppers. That's what's in there. Really good blend of veggies. I also grabbed some of this fun rainbow organic cauliflower. I just thought for some color in dinner, and it is zero points. I also have never tried this, so I wanted to give it a try. This is the Riced Cauliflower Stir Fry. I believe this does have points only because it has sesame oil in it, but this looks delicious, and I thought this would be a really good side dish. I also, at Trader Joe's, grabbed some grain-free dog treats for my doggies. Peanut butter, banana. So if you have dogs that have to be grain-free, these are only $2.99 a box. And this is a 10 ounce box. There are a ton of these little dog treats in there. So this is a fabulous deal at Trader Joe's. 
Now I think we're on to produce. So I picked up some delicata squash. I was actually really excited to see this because delicata squash is a fall vegetable. So typically you can't get it past about the beginning of winter, but Trader Joe's had it fresh, already cut. Delicata squash, you actually eat the rind of the squash. So I'm gonna barbecue this up in my barbecue series and I'll show you, this is seriously so good zero points and i love 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 it it is reminiscent of a sweet potato really really good i also grabbed a big package of grape tomatoes for a recipe two romas two apples that is also for an upcoming recipe i cannot wait to share that with you guys a red onion and then i also picked up these red delicious apple chips i count these as well let me look actually let's see what's in these first so there is actually sugar so i will actually have to count some points for these i'll put the points here on the screen but this is for an upcoming salad recipe so i'm okay counting points for the apple chips because salad is obviously zero so excited to see watermelon so i picked up a watermelon at trader joe's also at trader joe's i picked up a big ginormous pack of strawberries so i do have some grapes and blueberries left over from last week so i'll be having that strawberries and watermelon as my fruits for the week shredded lettuce for a recipe coleslaw for a recipe i'm actually making a copycat kfc coleslaw i can't wait to share it with you guys i also grabbed some baby spinach this is also for an upcoming recipe and last but not least for produce i grabbed sliced cremini mushrooms from trader joe's now let me show you some of the beverages that i grabbed for the week Two cases of Diet Coke for my husband. I grabbed another case of the Peach Bubbly. I love, love, love this. I take this to work and it keeps me satisfied with that little bit of sparkling water. I picked up Coke Zero for myself and then I had a coupon buy one get one free for Talking Rain. So I grabbed a grapefruit and a peach nectarine. Let's talk about this week's meal plan. As usual, I have everything here in my Carrie L meal planner. I love this meal planner so much. It is so nice, it's so comprehensive, love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn here to the meal plan tab. You can see here that there is weekly meal plans. There is monthly meal plans, which I actually really like. This makes it really easy because at a glance, you can see what is on your menu for the week and you can go ahead and pull your ingredients, frozen meat, that type of thing out of your freezer the night before love so much that it's at a glance and then of course the weekly meal plans look like this there is a portion for your weekly menu you can go ahead and add in all your dates and then there is also a detachable grocery list you can see that i do use the grocery list every week i absolutely love that feature there's a gatherings tab if you have an event or something at your home there is a notes tab and then there is also a resources tab and an inventory tab. So let's take a peek at the meal plan tab. I do have a 10% off discount for the Carrie L meal planner. I will put it down in the description box below. But if you're looking for a high quality, perfect meal planner with everything you'd ever need in a meal planner, the Carrie L is definitely the way to go. So here is this week's meal plan. I go from Saturday to Friday. So Saturdays is the day that I use my weekly, so we typically go out to dinner. Sunday, I am planning on making creamy shrimp and spinach tortellini. So excited for this dinner recipe. You guys will see this in my What I Eat Wednesday video, and I'm going to pair that with some vegetables. On Monday, I'm going to be making deep dish sloppy joes. Again, really excited about this recipe and we'll pair that with some vegetables. Tuesday is going to be Tex-Mex mac and cheese. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? This will give it a little bit of that Tex-Mex twist and of course, some vegetables. Wednesday will be leftovers. Wednesday is always a leftover day. It's typically my late night at work. Thursday, I'm going to make copycat Panera Fuji apple salad, and we'll have some sort of roll or bread with that. I cannot wait to have this salad, you guys. It's fresh, crisp, sweet, perfect for spring and summer. So I'll definitely be showing you that in an upcoming episode. 
And then on Friday, we're gonna barbecue some burgers. I'm gonna make some coleslaw, and this will be featured in my barbecue series. So stay tuned for this absolutely delicious burger and coleslaw recipe. So that is my meal plan for the week. On the back side of my meal plan is where I plan my meal prep. So for breakfast this next week, I'm going to be making a sheet pan breakfast bake. You guys will see this in my upcoming meal prep Monday video. So stay tuned for that. You'll also be seeing my lunch, which for lunches this week, I'm going to be making Crunch Wrap Supremes. So this is a copycat taco bell recipe. So cannot wait for that with a veggie and some candy apple salad. And then I'm going to be making some Kodiak Blondies. I cannot wait to share that recipe with you guys just to have on hand for a sweet treat. And then my Mother's Day baking series will be uploaded this next week. And we are making pineapple upside down cupcakes. Yes, ma'am, that sounds great for Mother's Day. So that is my plan for meal prep. That is my plan for meals for this upcoming week. And again, this, my friends, is my amazing carry-all meal planner. Again, link for 10% off down in the description box below. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this ginormous grocery haul from both Trader Joe's and Fred Meyer or Kroger. Also, I hope you enjoyed seeing my meal plan for the week, what's on the plan for meal prep, I cannot wait to share all of these recipes with you. They will all be featured in some sort of cook with me or recipe video coming down the pipe. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you're notified each and every single time I upload. You don't wanna miss out. I do upload most days of the week. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you think of my meal prep and meal plan for this week what's on your meal plan, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!